In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. I want to welcome all of you to Mass today, especially a warm welcome to all of our the all of, you, all of you children who are here for Totus Tuus. It's a special day for us to gather before our Lord in the Eucharist, gathered, gathered with him at Mass. So as we prepare to celebrate these mysteries, let us call to mind our sins. Lord Jesus, you raise us to new life. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgive us our sins. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you feed us with your body and blood. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Show favor, O Lord, to your servants, and mercifully increase the gifts of your grace, that made fervent in hope, faith, and charity, they may be ever watchful in keeping your commands. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Micah. Hear what the Lord says. Arise, present your plea before the mountains, and let the hills hear your voice. Hear, O mountains, the plea of the Lord. Pay attention, O foundations of the earth. For the Lord has a plea against his people, and he enters into trial with Israel. O my people, what have I done to you, or how have I wearied you? Answer me, for I brought you up from the land of Egypt. From the place of slavery I released you, and I sent before you Moses, Aaron, and Miriam. With what shall I come before the Lord and bow before God Most High? Shall I come before him with burnt offerings, with calves a year old? Will the Lord be pleased with thousands of rams, with myriad streams of oil? Shall I give my firstborn for my crime? the fruit of my body for the sin of my soul? You have, be t- you have been told, O man, what is good and what the Lord requires of you, only to do the right and to love goodness and to walk humbly with your God. The word of the Lord. Be to, God. to the upright I will show the saving power of God. Show the saving power of God. Gather my faithful ones before me, those who have made a covenant with me by sacrifice, and the heavens proclaim his justice, for God himself is the judge. To the upright I will show the saving power of God. Not for your sacrifices do I rebuke you, for your burnt offerings are before me always. I take from your house no bullock, no goats out of your fold. To the upright I will show the saving power of God. Why do you recite my statutes and profess my covenant with your mouth, though you hate discipline and cast my words behind you? To the upright I will show the saving power of God. When you do these things, shall I be deaf to it? Or do you think that I am like yourself? I will correct you by drawing them up before your eyes. He that offers praise as a sacrifice glorifies me, and to him that goes the right way I will show the salvation of God. To the upright I will show the saving power of God. Alleluia, alleluia. 
If today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Some of the scribes and Pharisees said to Jesus, Teacher, we wish to see a sign from you. He said to them in reply, An evil and unfaithful generation seeks a sign but no sign will be given it except the sign of Jonah the prophet. Just as Jonah was in the belly of the whale three days and three nights, so will the Son of Man be in the heart of the earth three days and three nights. At the judgment, the men of Nineveh will arise with this generation and condemn it because they repented at the preaching of Jonah, and there is something greater than Jonah here. At the judgment, the queen of the south will arise with this generation and condemn it, because she came from the ends of the earth to hear the wisdom of Solomon, and there is something greater than Solomon here. The Gospel of the Lord. Today, Jesus is comparing himself to Jonah, and he says, there's something greater than Jonah here. Who remembers the story of Jonah? Anybody? Okay, a lot of people. So, what did God ask Jonah to do? Who remembers that? Yes, exactly. So that they, he was sent to Nineveh to preach to them, to, to tell them to repent so that they would turn away from sin, right? So, was Jonah happy about this? Was this something that he wanted to do, Marie? Not at all, right? So what did he try to do? He tried not to go, right? He tried, he ran away, right? Exactly. On a, on a boat, right? Is that what you're going to say too? Okay. So on a boat. And what happened when he was on the boat? Okay. Yes, right? But why did he fall off the boat? Do you remember? The, pe the people on the boat pushed him off, right? And why do they push him off? Where? Yes, right? So there was a huge storm and Jonah said, Hey, it's my fault this is happening. Throw me off and the storm is going to go. And that's where we pick up there. He gets thrown off by the people on the boat and he gets swallowed by a big fish, right? How many days was he in the belly of the fish? Three, okay, we already, someone shouted it out. Three days and three nights in the belly of the fish. And what did Jonah do when he was in the, the fish? Anybody remember? He prayed, right? Uh, praying out to God, asking for help, repenting himself, turning back to God. And what happened after three days? He got spit out of the fish, right? And then when he comes to the shore, he gets up, and what does he do? He goes back to Nineveh, and he preaches, just like God asked him to. Do the Ninevites listen to him? They do, right? So it's a beautiful story. They listen and they repent right away. Does anybody remember what happened after they repented? Yeah, right? 
God said, I'm not going to destroy their, their city because they repented. Was Jonah happy about that? He wasn't happy, which is kind of strange, right? He was like, why isn't God destroying this place? And God reveals that he is a God of mercy, right? That's a, it's a part of the beauty, beauty there. So Jesus here is a little bit different than Jonah, but there are some things that are very similar, okay? But there are some things that are very different that are really important to see. So when Jesus, when Jesus was sent by God, what was, his, what was he preaching? Do you remember what he was preaching? What, what was similar to, something similar to Jonah? So Jonah had to preach repentance to the Ninevites. Was Jesus preaching repentance too? Yes, he was, right? But what happened to Jesus when he was doing that? Who remembers? Up here. He, he died on the cross, right? And then what happened to him? Where did they put him? Go ahead. He put him in the tomb, right? Into the earth. How many days was he in the earth? Go ahead. Three days. So similar. So it's not exactly the same, right? It's not a fish, but it's in a tomb. And he was dead. Jonah was not dead in a way. But, he was, but Jesus was dead. And what happened after three days? Go ahead, Judy. He came back to life, right? And the tomb spit him out, right? <laughs> kind of. But Jesus rose from the dead out of the tomb, right? And so he, and he, and many people repented because of that. They came to life in him. Was Jesus happy about that? Yeah, very happy, right? So that's part of the difference between him and Jonah, but also far, far greater. He, re he rejoiced in what God was doing. Now, what's beautiful for us is he still wants all of us to repent, right? Does he want us to turn away from our sins still? Always, right? But there's something more that Jesus gives to us that Jonah could never give to us. So it's more than just turning away from our sins. Because when Jesus rose, who, who was he? For he was always close, but who was he always close to? Evan? He's always close to God the Father, right? That's part of what we learned about this morning. Who remembers the first luminous mystery? Let's see, I called on. Who haven't I called? Merit? Jesus getting baptized, right? And who was there at the baptism of Jesus? Let's see, who has not been? Go ahead. John the Baptist, right? Absolutely. He was the one doing the baptizing, right? Who was looking with love on Jesus? Who remembers? Ian, go ahead. God, God the Father, right? Who remembers what he said? Anybody remember? Let's see, George. He sent the dove, right? Who was the, who was the Holy Spirit, right? Good. And what did he say? What did the Father say over? Let's see. Anybody else who I haven't called on? Called on. Go ahead. I am well pleased with my son. This is my beloved son, with whom I am well pleased. Right. So what's beautiful for us when we repent and we live with Jesus, it means that who is living inside of us? Who, go ahead. God is living inside of us. Even more specifically, Eddie, say it again. Jesus, right? We, Jesus is living in us. Who is God? God, he is God. The Holy Spirit is living within us. And what does that mean? That means that, go ahead. Yes, we, have, we can be with God, but it also means who is looking on us with love? 
Who is it? Go ahead. Sorry. Sorry, I have to get a little closer. Yeah, yeah, you, you. Yeah. That's okay. Who is looking on us with love? Go ahead, Elena. God the Father, right? And you know what he's saying over us when Jesus is living in us? Do you know what he's saying? You are mine, and you are my beloved sons and daughters. You belong to me, and he is always doing that. When we, when we are living with Jesus, when we have repented, and when Jesus is living in us, our Father is looking at us with all of his love. And it's a tremendous gift, and he's always walking around. So even today, later on when you're playing or when you are in class, you can remember that. Who's looking at you? God the Father, right? And what's he saying? You are my beloved son and daughter with whom I am well pleased. Okay. All right, let's stand together and we'll offer our prayers to our Heavenly Father. For the church, may the Lord help us to grow in unity as we seek to embody Christ in the world. We pray to the Lord. For policy makers and elected officials, may God inspire them in working to protect the dignity and sanctity of human life from conception all the way to natural death. We pray to the Lord. We pray for all of us gathered here that we would always know and experience more deeply the love that God the Father has for us and the truth that Jesus is really living in us through the power of the Holy Spirit. We pray to the Lord. We pray, we pray for all of those who are suffering, especially because of loneliness, and who do, not, who do not know God's love for them and the love of their friends and family. We pray to the Lord. We pray for all of those who have nowhere to live, and those who do not have food, we pray to the Lord. And for all of those who have died, especially for Betty Ansley, for whom this Mass is being offered, we pray to the Lord. Father, we come to you with faith and hope in your goodness. We ask you to receive the prayers we have offered through Christ our Lord.
Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. stand together. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. O God, who in the one perfect sacrifice brought to completion varied offerings of the law, Accept, we pray, this sacrifice from your faithful servants and make it holy as you bless the gifts of Abel so that what each has offered to the honor of your majesty may benefit the salvation of all through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father most holy, through your beloved Son, through whom your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people. He stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, 
which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Bernard, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer one another the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. 
Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. Graciously be present to your people, we pray, O Lord, and lead those you have imbued with heavenly mysteries to pass from former ways to newness of life through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace.